What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new 16-bit review for you this week. A while back, I took a look at Clay Fighter 63 and the third for the Nintendo 64. And a little bit later on, I took a look at Clay Fighter's Tournament Edition for the Super Nintendo. So I thought this week, let's go back, finish that series of games made by Interplay, and look at C2 Judgment Clay. This game was developed and published by Interplay Productions with a North American release date of July 15th, 1994. This game is, of course, the follow-up to Clay Fighters and then Clay Fighters Tournament Edition, which is the expansion of that. And while during development, it was supposed to be released for the Sega Master System and also Sega 32X, sadly, it only appeared on the Super Nintendo. The story for this game goes... That Tiny has defeated N Boss and was the champion of Clayland until a strange and evil mad scientist by the name of Dr. Kiln hops in his plane and goes over to Mudville. He causes a strange goo to start reacting by throwing some other goo in it. And then this strange goo spreads everywhere in Mudville land, causing absolute chaos and pandemonium. He then declares himself champion of Mudville and Clayland, and has decided to hold a tournament to see if any are worthy to face him. There are eight characters to start, with eight other secret or boss variations of each of those characters. You could play this game in single player, multiplayer, or hold a tournament mode. Now, five of the characters that are in this game are actually brand new. Ichabod Clay was supposed to be in the game, but sadly, he didn't make the cut. Overall, this game handles pretty well. It's much faster than the first one, but unfortunately, it's got a bit, still has that same wonky hit detection, same as the first one. Also note that throws and holds were removed from the first, from this game in comparison to the first one. The downside to this, though, is it does not help this game's difficulty. It's much harder than its predecessor. This actually takes me to really the first negative of C2 Judgment Clay, which is this game is hard. I mean, the first Clay Fighters isn't that bad, but man, oh man, this game could be a real slog and a real challenge. The second negative that I want to talk about with this game is its overall sound effects. They just feel lacking, like there's no real impact or oomph behind any of your moves or your special moves. Now we're talking about sound effects. I definitely need to touch on the music. I wouldn't say that it's great, but I wouldn't say that it's good either. It's just okay. The best part of C2 Judgment Clay has to be by far the backgrounds, digitized clay sculptures, and just the overall sprite work in this game. You can really tell that Interplay Productions put a lot of work into digitizing all these clay sculptures and making them and trying to create these very unique and distinct backgrounds. So keep note of that as you're watching this review and if you ever decide to get any of these games. Finally, to close out this video, is C2 Judgment Clay, worth playing and adding to your collection today. Well, to be honest, unless you just absolutely love everything that Interplay Productions makes, no. I would just say, stick with Clay Fighters Tournament Edition. It's a better game, has better characters, better sound effects. This game just feels a slight step back from that one. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until next time.